Hi, I'm David, and today on 3D Make It, we're going to be talking about the Creosum mod. Let's go! So, you just bought a Creality Ender 3 Pro, or maybe you have a 10S, or maybe a 10S Pro. Maybe you're brand new to 3D printing, or maybe you've been around a while. The Creosum mod is here to help tune the slicer settings in a way that will give the best results for the best prints out of the box. Now, I'm going to talk about the mod after we show how to install it and maybe decide is it for you, is it for me, and who is it directed at. So let's jump into the install. So the install is super simple. You're going to come to the GitHub, which is a Creosum mod GitHub by Troche. And basically, once you get there, you scroll down the page until you find the install section. In the install section, there's a link, and the link will take you to the most recent working package. Don't download it from the clone button because that's a beta and it probably won't work. Uh, so grab that package, click download, and while it's downloading, we're going to bounce into our current Kira, and then we're going to go into the extensions menu. And we're going to go into the backup and we're going to manage our backups. It's going to ask you to sign in. And all it does is bounce to their captive portal. If you haven't signed in recently, you'll have to enter your username and password, but I've signed in. So now I'm going to come back into Kira and open the backup window. So the first thing I'm going to do is just back up now. The reason we're doing this is because it protects your install. Um, if something goes wrong during the process, or if we have printers that go missing, profiles we want back, this is one of the quickest ways to ensure that we'll get back our data. So while that's running, we're going to go check the Creosum mod in our downloads folder. So in our downloads folder, we got a zip. We got a zip called Creosum Mod. I've downloaded it twice, but that's okay. I just right clicked, I extract, and then I just extracted it right to the downloads folder where it ended up. I'll scroll up into the Creosum Mod. I'm going to copy this resources folder, and then we'll go back. We can close this window and this window in Kira now, and we can shrink our web browser. And now we're going to open the Kira resource folder on our computer and copy this file over it. So first off I'm just going to copy and then I'm going to go down and I'm going to go to my C drive and then that's in program files under Ultimaker. Oops too far. There we go. Ultimaker and now there's a resource folder. I'm going to save this resource folder because there's something I need in it after to make mine work. So it's going to ask me for permission. I'm okay with that. I renamed it resources underscore old. Don't delete the folder or overwrite it. Make sure you keep a copy because if you want to go back, it's going to be easier this way. So I'm just going to right click. I'm going to go paste. Of course, you can use the control V, control C hotkeys. Again, I have to give it permission and it will copy. Now, there's uh, one gotcha in this whole install. Some people have been complaining about printers missing or profiles being garbled. Well, Kira actually stores another location for that resource folder when it boots up. Um, I'll show you where it is after we get this installed and open up my Kira. It, it probably will fix your missing Ender 3s that lots of people have been sh uh, popping up in forums about and hopefully it'll be quite useful for you to see. So we're almost there. And once we get there, we're just going to fire open Kira. Now Kira could take quite a while to load the first load again. So we're just going to be patient and roll with it. We can see that the splash screen has changed for Kira now to Cruasim mod. Um, just a little added bonus. Okay, so Kira is open. We can see here that I have an error. It's complaining about missing machines. Now, 
I've made custom machines in the past. If you want to check out that video, I'll link it for you. But basically, I've done a little bit of work in my Kira. So after clearing those errors, we have Kira loaded. The first thing we notice is that they've done a lot of skinning work in this mod to give you machine profiles. But we could also see that any old profile that I did have is gone. Um, so what we have to do is add a new printer. Now I'm going to keep my old printers because I'm going to bring my old profiles back. But we can see there's a crew awesome mod section. So again, if you just click on the printers, add printer in the crew awesome mod section, we're going to pick Ender 3. That's the first printer I'll add. I'm going to call it a, a CA for crew awesome. I'll hit add. And then once we get that done, we can see that there's been a lot of work inside the printer with the profiles. Specifically, you can notice that the profiles have changed to the magic numbers. So we start at 0.12 and go up fairly steadily by 0.04. The other thing that this mod does is it changes machine settings. Now, a lot of these machine settings I've already had. Uh, the acceleration controls at 500, the jerk settings, I use 5, the retraction even changes. The one thing that's been causing people a little problem is the fact that the, the wall in the shell, so our wall thickness, is actually at 0.5s. So if we look here, our line width is 0.5. Now lots of people have complained about gaps or really bad top layers. This is one of the reasons why. If you notice that there's gapping or any issues in top layers, just edit the setting. Awesome. So I have the Creosa mod. I'm missing a few things from my other settings, but it works. So what about the people that are missing printers? So the solution is easy. We come into our file explorer again. We're going to go to C users into your user and then into the app data folder. You have to type this in. It's a hidden folder in Windows. Into roaming. Now, in Kira, and we're going to find the one that says 4.0. Now here you can see I've renamed mine 4.0 old. So I just came in here, I renamed it old. So now what we're going to do is relaunch Kira. We can see that the 4.0 folder gets remade and now we're just updating Kira configurations in our Kurasa mod. So when Kira opens again, it's going to open like it was never used. We're just going to close this and now we can add all of our printers back in. We can see that I have a printer list, but it's not accurate anymore. So if I go to manage printers, I can literally just remove all these printers from my list. All right, so now we can add a printer. We can do it right from this window. We can go Creosa mod again, and now you should see the missing printer start showing up. So the Ender 3 should be back for those that are missing it. And then once it's added, we can just close the window and get on with using our printers. So we can see that once it loads, the printer is very uh, similar to what we saw in the last Creosa mod we loaded. We can change the standard, the quality, and the side, and we're good to go. So hopefully that helps. So how does it print? Well, I printed three Benchies, a white one with my current Kira settings. I printed two orange ones. One in Prusa Slicer Edition 2, that's his new one, and one with the Creosum mod. So let's check them out. I want to look at specifically the box on the top. This might help a lot of people out. The white Benchy printed with no hole around the box. The Slicer Edition of Benchy, both using my settings, have no hole around the box. But when we get to the Benchy that was printed with the Creosum mod, Everything looks awesome except the box. We could see that there's a little hole around that box where there's a gap. Now this isn't under extrusion. It's not missteps. So what's going on here? The actual cause was the line width. The line width on the Cruasa mod was set to 0.5, which was too wide, and it couldn't fill in. So therefore, I just bumped it back to about 0.43, and that line went away, my top layers looked great. So if you're struggling with top layers on the Cruasa mod, that might be one thing to consider. So there you have it. We've installed the Cruasa mod. But who is it for? 
Well, I would say it's for people that are new to 3D printing that want to see great prints right off the start. The Karasa mod only works with Kira and Kira 4.0 at that, so don't try to install it on any other versions. The mod itself has great settings and guidelines if you've never played in the slicer. Lots of the settings in the mod I actually had already. The most important ones would be the acceleration at 500 and the jerk at 5. I think that if you make small changes to your slicer to match this profile and maybe not take all of it, you'd end up with great prints. That being said, the Karasa mod delivers. It gives good prints if you haven't tuned your slicer. Will I be using it? Probably not. I'll go back to my profiles that I've tested over three years and have tried on many, many parts. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that video on the Creosa mod. If you have comments, leave them down below. Hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and follow us for future videos. Thanks. Have a great one.